for this measure, there are a lot of placements. I mean, I mean, they are students need to, to work as teachers in a real school on a real occasion. So uh, when do they start this kind of uh, placement? Um, if it's an undergraduate degree, they start in their second year. So mm -hmm. they do placements in second, third and fourth year in mm -hmm. all different schools. Mm -hmm. If they're doing a master's program, so a master of teaching, then they actually start in their first year. They're only there for two years. Mm -hmm. So how are these process initiated? I mean, like, uh, is it like the university uh, placed them to a potential school and then they go for an interview? And if that is successful, they are accepted as a internship teachers? Not exactly. We actually mm -hmm. have a whole placements team that mm -hmm. supports this process. So mm -hmm. stu students don't have to find their own placement okay. school. So our placements team uh, help the students to be placed in the school. There's no interview, but mm -hmm. we do have um, subjects that sit before the placement. So we're doing a lot of training, getting mm -hmm. the students ready, and then they go off into the placement school. But they mm -hmm. also have a university mentor that supports them during that mm -hmm. process as well, as mm -hmm. well as a supporting teacher. Do they have to drive a car to a, a school which is far away or they can uh, take public train? So um, yes, we try to place the students in um, a school that's very close by or close enough that they can um, mm -hmm. catch public transport. So mm -hmm. no, they don't need to have a car. But there also are opportunities if students want to take them mm -hmm. to do placements quite far away. So in yeah. regional and remote areas as well. Yeah. So a driving license and a used car is a plus for funding better or, 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 I mean, easily to find a placement? Look, I think it's it's not particularly mm -hmm. um, in terms of finding a placement. I think uh, Sydney, it's it's easy <laughs> to get around in a car, yeah. but we do, yeah, we do have plenty of public transport, particularly around our campuses. So um, we are able to place, we've got really big networks of schools that we work with. So we are usually mm -hmm. able to place students pretty close by. Okay, so what, what do they do on a daily basis as a um, placement teacher or internship teacher in a school? So they would be involved in um, firstly observing the mm -hmm. classes that they're going to teach. Um, mm -hmm. So they would watch their supervising teacher teach their classes mm -hmm. and they'd get to know the students and, and that they'll be working with. Mm -hmm. um, and then they would be asked to plan perhaps just small components of a lesson mm -hmm. initially. So mm -hmm. they might only be teaching for 10 or 15 minutes initially, mm -hmm. but then as they progress through their program, so towards mm -hmm. their last placement, yep. they might they would be teaching whole classes um, or maybe multiple um, periods and time slots in a day. They would also be involved in doing some assessment of student work um, and would be expected to manage the classroom, but they would also have their supervising teacher in the classroom. So if something goes wrong, the supervising teacher can step in and support them. After graduation, when they are looking for a, a job as a teacher in, in Sydney or other cities or, or, or states, um, is it, I, I guess it should be easy. So, so how, how, how's your feedback from, from the students? And in terms of getting jobs? Yeah. Most of our students are getting jobs even before they graduate at mm -hmm. the moment. A lot of students find that if their, uh, their final professional placement, if the school likes them, mm -hmm. then they'll often be offered at least casual or temporary work mm -hmm. in that mm -hmm. school. But yes, we are finding our students are you know, getting mm -hmm. jobs very easily at the moment mm -hmm. because there is a teacher shortage in Australia. Mm -hmm.